G'day folks and welcome to The Wow Factor. A little story for you. When I was a young fella, I used to love going down the beach, walking along the foreshore, picking up shells and pebbles, and every now and then we'd come across jellyfish. About that big, shaped like a jelly bean. The fun part of that was standing on them in bare feet and having them ooze through your toes. I don't recommend doing that with what's coming up next. There is approximately 2,000 known species of jellyfish, none so awesome in size as the next three giants. My favourite of the mega jellies is Stygiomedusa gigantea, commonly known as the giant phantom jelly. Since it was first described in 1910, there have been only 126 confirmed encounters with this rare giant. One of the largest invertebrates in the deep sea, the bell of this deep sea giant can reach one meter or 3.3 feet across, and it trails four ribbon-like oral arms that can reach 10 meters or 33 feet. Although sightings are rare, apart from the Arctic, it is believed to be widespread throughout the world's oceans. It is usually found in the ocean's midnight zone at depths of around 6,600 meters which makes documenting this creature difficult and expensive. The lion's mane jelly is considered the largest in the ocean. Most jellyfish, such as the moon jelly, have a circular bell, whereas the lion's mane jelly has eight lobes resembling an eight-pointed star. Each lobe contains about 70 to 150 tentacles. From the central mouth, we find broad frilly oral arms covered in stinging cells. Closer to the mouth, the total number of tentacles is around 1,200. Extending from the sub-umbrella, we find the tentacles that have earned this creature the title as the longest known animal. These long, thin and extremely sticky tentacles also have stinging cells. The largest recorded specimen was measured off the coast of Massachusetts in 1865 and had a bell with a diameter of 210 centimetres or 7 feet and tentacles around 36.6 metres or 120 feet long. Longer than a blue whale. Do they have predators? Well, aside from the leatherback turtle, the odd bird and some fish species, there is one predator that shows no table manners when the lion's mane ambles into its colony. Plumos anemones. These unassuming and quite delicate looking creatures are not what they seem. If a lion's mane just happens to be pushed by the current into a colony of these anemones, it's the end of its journey. The largest jellyfish in the ocean has become lunch to a colony of voracious predators. Nomura's jellyfish is in the same size class as the lion's mane jelly. The bell diameter when fully grown can be up to 2 meters or 6 foot 7 inches. As with the lion's mane jelly, it is in the phylum Nidaria, meaning it has nidocytes, specialized cells with ejectable flagella used mainly for envenomation, stinging cells that inject venom. They can weigh up to 200 kilograms. This species of jellyfish can grow from the size of a grade of rice to greater than 6 feet or 1.8 metres wide in 6 months. This can create great problems for the fishing industry. In 2009, a 10-tonne fishing trawler capsized off Chiba on Tokyo Bay as its three-man crew tried to haul in a net containing dozens of Nyomura jellyfish. Two species of jellyfish share the fried egg jellyfish title. The larger of the two can have a bell size close to 60 centimetres or 2 feet in diameter and 16 clusters of up to 30 tentacles each up to 6 metres or 30 feet long. Sometimes confused with the lion's mane jelly, it can be found worldwide. Its smaller cousin can typically be found in the warm waters of the Mediterranean. It can reach up to 40 centimetres in diameter, but averages about 17 or less. 
Each mouth arm forks near its base and branches several times. In addition to some larger appendages, there are many short club-shaped ones that bear disc-like ends. Belonging in the class Hydrozoa, the flower hat jelly is not actually a true jellyfish, but we won't hold that against it. The flower hat jelly has lustrous tentacles which coil and adhere to its rim when not in use. Its bell is translucent and pinstriped with opaque bands. The fluorescent proteins cause light to reflect off the jelly, which will attract prey closer when they can capture it more easily. During the day, they rest on the seabed, often among rocks or algae, but at night, they float up to hunt for their prey, typically small fish. The crystal jelly, as the common name implies, is transparent and colourless. Its prey is ensnared in long tentacles containing nematocysts. Crystal jellies can expand their mouth when feeding to swallow jellies more than half their size. When disturbed, it gives off a green-blue glow because of more than 100 tiny light-producing organs surrounding its outer bell. This gel is harvested for its luminescent aquarine, used in neurological and biological experiments to detect calcium. Coming up, we have the deadliest creature in the ocean. And don't go away folks, we also have footage of the rarest jellyfish and a strange relationship between a jellyfish and a crab. Don't go away. The box jellyfish, Irukanji, considered the deadliest creature on the planet. There has been at least 64 known deaths in Australia from 1884 to 2021. Karukia Barnesi, or Urukanji, was the first of what's now known to be as many as 20 species of small cubozoan jellyfish that can cause Urukanji syndrome. Severe headaches, backache, muscle pains, chest and abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, sweating, anxiety, hypertension, tachycardia and pulmonary edema are all symptoms that increase in intensity within two to five minutes of being stung. With a bell size of only 1 to 2 centimetres, it's a very inconspicuous predator. It has only four contractile tentacles extending from the bottom of each corner of its bell, ranging from 5 centimetres up to a metre long. Marlow kingi is considered the smallest jellyfish in the world. It can be as small as 5 millimetres, although its stingy tentacles can reach up to 1 metre in length. Although its bell shape is not a box, but more bell shaped, it is still in the same class as Cubozoa. Turinex fleckery has been described as the most lethal jellyfish in the world. The amount of venom in one animal is said to be enough to kill 60 adult humans. Also known as the Australian box jelly and nicknamed the sea wasp, Turinex fleckery is the largest of the box jellyfish. Its bell usually reaches about 16 centimetres or 6.3 inches in diameter, but can grow up to 35 centimetres or 14 inches. From each of the four corners of the bell trails a cluster of 15 bootlace-like tentacles that can reach 3 metres or 10 feet long. This large box jellyfish is nearly invisible, which makes them very hard to spot. They also prefer to hunt during the day and in shallow waters, making human contact more likely. Chiridectus maculatus is an extremely rare box jellyfish. This is the only known footage available taken in 2022 by a scuba diver off the coast of Papua New Guinea. It has only been scientifically studied on one occasion in 1997, captured from the outer edge of the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of northeast Queensland. Due to its delicate nature, it only survived for several hours in the lab. Its bell measured approximately 15 centimetres or 5.9 inches. This specimen reminds me of a beautiful box kite flying through the ocean. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. 
Cassiopeia, the upside down jellyfish are found in warm coastal waters around the world. These jellyfish partake in a symbiotic relationship with photosynthetic dinoflagellates and therefore must lie upside down in areas with sufficient light penetration to fuel their energy source. Speaking of symbiotic, and I'm not sure if it's a one-way relationship here, but this urchin crab thinks it's a better option to carry around a jellyfish for protection as opposed to his usual spiky sea urchin. That's one resourceful crab. Anyway, thanks for dropping in today, folks. And as usual, if you enjoyed today's video, give that like button a whack and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments if there's any weird or wonderful animals, creatures, places, people that you'd like to see. And as usual, look after yourself, look after your loved ones, and look after this beautiful planet of ours. See you next time.